Mutamayez. Mutamayez, you know, the talking point with this one is, well, you know, Oud isn't for everyone. Oud is for everyone if you get the right Oud. That's your opinion? This is a nice Oud right here. Fresh. Very inexpensive with Heliotrope, Great Projector, Happy Land Studios, Paisley Sky. Doesn't have the beautiful bottle. It's all subjective. Awesome, awesome fragrance. Yeah. Oh, this one is good. This one is good. Mutamayez. Now, you can look at the Fragrantica comments. A lot of people are saying it's noxious. It smells like bug spray. It's just a weird fragrance. And many Fragrantica reviewers have said it's just weird. It opens like bug spray. It's all over the place. Somebody said it smelled like burnt wood and maybe a burnt sugar. Maybe a burnt sugar, like a caramelized sugar that is burnt. Very interesting fragrance. A lot of people say it's weird. It's a projection beast. Overall, it's just weird and it's hard to recommend. Burnt sugar is what I get. I don't, I get a little bit of oud. It's just a very strange fragrance and it's hard for me to recommend Mutamayez. But you could try it. If you like very interesting fragrances, I recommend Mutamayez by Swiss Arabian. It's different. Now, what inspired me to get a Swiss Arabian fragrance? A while back, Mohammed from Ascented Engineer sent me Shankhoff Oud. Shankhoff Oud is excellent. Probably the best Swiss Arabian that's out there. This is a flanker of that, but this is also a clone of Interlude Man. It's like a one-dimensional clone of Interlude Man. If you want to get an idea of what Interlude Man smells like, I'd recommend this. It's not as complex. It's very linear, very simple. Maybe the best part of Interlude Man. I like how Interlude Man changes and metamorphosizes. This is a very simple fragrance. If you'd like to really find out what is Interlude Man smells like. It smells like this. Interlude Man really has to be experienced. Amouage fragrances are very complex. This brings out maybe the best side of Interlude Man, but it doesn't change. And to me, I like that it changes. I like that Interlude Man changes. It's got a beautiful bottle. It's okay. That's all I have to say about it. It's just okay. I like it. I don't love it. This is my favorite Swiss Arabian that I own. This is a nice leather. This is Algutra. It's softened up by vanilla. It opens up with a nice green note. Very pleasant. So out of the three I own, I would say Algutra is the one I recommend. I give it an eight, easily an eight. That vanilla softens up. It's not a sweet vanilla either. It's just a softening of the leather. It's a nice, beautiful, nice leather. One of the better leather fragrances out there. Algutra, I love that it looks like a red Ferrari in a bottle. Pretty cool, right? You know, the caps, they don't, they're not magnetic or anything. But this one is an excellent one right here. This is Algutra from Swiss Arabian. Hey, if you like this kind of content, let me know. Check this one out, Algutra. I recommend Algutra out of the three I own. This one, if you want to know what Interlude Man smells like, it's okay. It's okay, but I really recommend you check out Interlude Man. Interlude Man has to be experienced by Armouage. It's the complexity of the Armouage fragrances and Interlude Man is just, it's a much superior fragrance, but you get a one dimensional Interlude Man with this. That's all I have to say. Hey, thank you for watching. Hey, take care. Have a good one. This is your buddy Neil. Peace.